You hear about that Aussie spirit. Well, let me tell you, this government's trying to get rid of that Aussie spirit. You look after each other, look after your mates. That's what we sort of grew up with. I mean, all the way to all the commercials and, you know, good on your mate. Well, yeah, that, that, well, it's probably not politically correct now, but I mean, good on your sister too that now. But I mean, that's what we grew up on and that's what we're trying to do. And that's what we're trying to keep. I mean, I heard Paddy Crumlin speak. And I mean, we sort of carved this country out. The trade union movement. If you look at this, and I've said this before and I've said it a whole heap of times, we're sometimes demonised. We sort of said, oh, look at them thugs and all the rest of it. And I mean, geez, yeah, how did we win all this? Gee, just give it to us on a silver platter. We have to fight for it. Everything we have today, we have to fight for it. And I'll tell you what, the New South Wales branch of our union had a poster put out once. And what it said was, here's a $500 reward. Give us one condition that you enjoy today that we never had to fight for. No one's ever claimed a $500 reward. Because a lot of people think that it was just all handed to us. We had to fight for everything. Everything we've got, super, the whole lot, we've had to fight for. But the unfortunate thing is, we have never sold our message. Every Australian, well, most Australians enjoy super. They enjoy super. Who, who, who fought and won for super? The trade union movement did. I mean, penalty rates. I mean, all the conditions that people, holiday pay, sick pay, everything that most Australians take for granted was won by the trade union movement. So win, lose or draw, we have to do our bit. We have to fight. How the Senate's going to look, win, lose or draw, we don't know. We don't know how the government's going to look. We don't know what's going to happen. But we've got to give it a crack. And this is our chance. So please, don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted that your friend or your neighbour or whoever down the road, or Joe Blow at the shop, is going to put the Liberals last.